Okay, what we have here is about 100 watts of RF output. Get it on power. I'm going to turn it back on the SWR. Make sure it is set. And a little better lighting over here. It's set there. And here's, this is power. Oops. 100, 100 watts. This is a 100 watt uh, SWR meter. <clears throat> the uh, this is a lab built dummy load, 50 ohms. It's around about 100. And, yeah, almost 140 degrees Fahrenheit. It's only been running for about 10 minutes. We have uh, these are. 50 uh, ohm resistors, or no, they're 100 ohm resistors. They're in series parallel. It's only supposed to be good for about 35 watts clamped to a uh, ceramic tile, but we'll be cooling it a little bit to keep from burning out. I've got a 1500 watt dummy load, but it doesn't seem to run the meter right. I don't know what it is. Still working that issue out. So it looks like in the back here. This is the uh, Pi uh, coil to adjust the uh, load, the antenna. You also have the uh, tank for the uh, Pi capacitor, multi-turn air capacitor for the uh, tank, and this is for the uh, the antenna load. We've got two KT88 vacuum tubes running in parallel now. It's the first time we've had two of them in, in parallel. Previous test we were running only about 35 watts of R, uh, RF out of it. This is what the signal looks like. This is the amp meter, amp draw for one of the KT-88. This is the other one. We're running about 8 watts of difference between those two. We'll have to balance them by adjusting the uh, plate resistors. That's one of the uh, power tubes. This is the outer uh, power tube. That's the plate voltage. That's the input right there. We have no uh, plate resistors at all on the power tubes. Only on the uh, screens for the power tubes. The other oscillator and the uh, preamp, they uh, have plate and screen resistors to uh, adjust the voltage. So there you have it.